Let's talk memory management, the stack in the heap and how they differ. C is a low-level language, which means that we can access and manipulate the computer's memory directly. Memory is essentially a storage area where data is stored while a program is running. The memory is divided into two main areas, the stack and the heap. Both stack and heap memory are located in a computer's ROM, the random access memory. And let's start with a stack. The structure of the stack is like a stack of books. This stack of books would represent the stack in programming. Each book you add to the stack goes on top of the previous one. And when you need a book, you take the top one off. And this is similar how the stack in programming works. It's a lost in first out structure, where the last item you put there is the first item you take away. Whenever a function is called, the program generates a new stack memory block for the function to use. Variables are typically located on the stack. And when a function or program is finished, the memory block is released automatically and the program returns to the previous point of execution. So what about the heap? The heap is defined as a collection of things thrown one on another, which is also the definition of a pile. The word heap is used a lot to refer to clothes, because if you're a bit disorganized like me, you probably have a heap of clothes on your bedroom floor. So if you take these pieces of clothes and just dump them all out, we would now have a heap of them, right? So the main difference is that the heap is kind of random, while the stack has a clear order to it. You can only put a book on top of the stack, and if you want to remove it, you have to remove it from the top first. While the heap is a more flexible and customizable space where you can dynamically allocate memory as needed. Just like you can add or remove any t-shirt from the pile, you can allocate or deallocate memory on the heap during runtime in a program. These t-shirts now represent the heap in programming. Let's consider each t-shirt in this pile as representing a different program's allocated memory. And in this scenario, each t-shirt in the pile, aka the heap, is like a separate memory allocation area for a program. Just as different programs can allocate memory on the heap, they each get their own space. So when a program needs memory, it writes its data into its designated space without interfering with the data elsewhere in other spaces. While some space on the heap may already be occupied by data from other program, each space remains separate. Stack memory is short-lived, whereas heap memory lives from the start to the end of the program's lifespan. So what do I do with this information? Let's say I want to initialize an array, and I already know the size I need. Then I could just initialize it like this. Here, the variable array is allocated on the stack with a fixed size of 42 characters. The size is hard-coded and cannot be altered during runtime. If you know exactly how much space you'll need, this is the easiest way. But a lot of the time, you might not know exactly how much memory the program will use. And for more complex data structures and programs, it's simply not possible to keep everything on the stack. And that's where you need to allocate memory on the heap. To do that, you need to use, well, you know it, malloc. So watch our next video to see how and when to use malloc in free and stay leak free. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to memory management in C programming. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you for watching, and happy coding.